Hello and welcome to my Xiaomi Yi action camera review. In this lengthy video, I will do my best to show you all the features of the camera and perform in-depth audio and video tests. The goal of this video is to show you all the features and help you understand whether or not this camera is right for you. Additionally, if you already own a camera, I also wanted this review to serve you as a guide since the manual is not as helpful. I will not only unbox, review and show you some sample footage, but also dive deep into this camera and show you all the options and how to set them up so that you can unleash the full potential of this tiny camera. Before we dive into exploring this camera, I would just like to let you know, since the video is going to be a bit lengthy, I have put the content and the time marks in the description of this video, so that you can jump to a different video part that interests you the most, without losing time on watching something that does not interest you. Let me now just tell you a few things about this camera. It has been produced by Chinese brand Xiaomi, which is currently the most reputable brand in China. It is a sport action camera that can record videos and take photographs and it is very lightweight and compact. There are many action cameras on the market and the Xiaomi wanted to create camera that will be a well priced and have great functions. Uh, whether they manage that or not, I will talk about it later in this video, but for now you should know that it can take full HD videos in 180p, 30, 60 and plenty of other modes, as well as take photos at 16 megapixels. The camera was first announced as a GoPro killer because of combination of its price and functions, as well as the quality of the video and photographs it produces. Again, I will not judge if it's really a GoPro killer, you can read about it in depth on my blog, I will put the link to it in the description, but for now you should know that it is priced somewhere around $80 currently, and it can be bought on different web stores and I will put the link to all those stores including the coupons and some deals I found online in the description of this video. It's now time to unbox this camera. As you can see it comes in very simplistic box, very tiny box and there is a reason for this because quite oftenly compared with Apple because of the simplicity of their packing and products. As you can see camera comes in this cardboard box and it is very compactly packed. At first I thought that there is nothing else in the box besides the this tiny green camera. Speaking of colors, there are two color choices that Xiaomi offers for this camera, green and white. Camera also comes in two different models, standard and travel versions. The only difference between them is that travel version comes with a great selfie monopod that you can use to take selfies if you're that kind of person. So inside of the box of the standard version you get, besides the camera, you get this USB cable which you can use to transfer files from your PC and also charge the camera. Uh, please note that uh, Xiaomi does not send any AV charger so you cannot charge it uh, via the wall charger, you will have to purchase that adapter separately. Also you get this battery inside and the manual. Manual is the funniest thing about this camera. I understand that the camera was supposed to be for Chinese market only, but gosh, make it on English because plenty of us would really love to understand what all these marks mean. Unless you speak Mandarin, manual is completely useless, there is nothing you can understand basically in it. So this is it, I know we are used to seeing plenty of equipment, gadgets, mounts and everything else in the action cameras, especially the Chinese one but you do not get anything else in the Xiaomi Yi. That is why this camera was priced so low. Obviously all the money went into a Sony sensor and uh, video and photo quality. So to use this as an action camera, you really need to spend money on the equipment, especially the waterproof case. For instance, it costs somewhere around 18 and $30, just to show you how much money you will need to spend on the gear. The good news is that it is compatible with most of other uh, action camera mounts as a GoPro or SJ Cam, so if you have one of those you can use them as well. Yi camera uses Panasonic LiPo battery 3.7 watts and 1010 mA, which according to Xiaomi allows up to 2 hours with Wi-Fi on and 180p 30 frames per second while recording video. 
For instance, comparing it to the SJ Cam HD4000, battery is slightly better and gives more recording time. Still, for most of us this is still not enough and camera market needs to develop into the direction of increasing the battery life. You can also always use a spare backup battery which I highly recommend or at least have a power bank. I've been using Xiaomi power bank and it also works great with this camera. To put the battery inside the camera you simply need to open this back door and just uh, pay attention to the pins. Simply pins from one side need to m match the pins from on the other side of the battery. As you can see battery here fits well and it has this strap which you can use to pull it out easily which is a lifesaver in some situations. In terms of the design Xiaomi Yi can be classified as very simple camera. There are not many buttons. This button here is an on off button which allows you to turn your camera on or off and also switch between photo and video mode. This button on the side is a Wi-Fi button which you press when you want to connect your app via the Wi-Fi and this LED will flash blue once your app is connected but I will talk about it just in a moment. As you can see there is no LCD at the back so camera does not have a screen and all the options and settings need to be set inside the app when camera is connected via the Wi-Fi. The top button is shutter button which allows you to shoot videos when you're in the recording mode or take photos if you're in the image or photo mode. Once you press it the LED button will flash red that will and indicate that you're recording. On the side here we have this cover which uh, protects HDMI and USB ports and micro SD memory card slot. HDMI is used when you want to preview your photos or videos on TV and USB is of course used for charging your camera and transferring your photo and video files. This slot here is for micro SD memory card and by the way the camera supports uh, up to 64 gigabytes micro SD cards. It is highly recommended by the manufacturer that you use at least class 10 card in order to have the best video quality. I am really annoyed with this door however. It happened to me a few times that I simply lost it while I was charging my camera. I would really love it somehow it can remain attached to the camera. This circular LED around the on off button will not only indicate whether your camera is on or off but also show the battery life of your camera. LED will change color to blue if your battery is more than 50% full or switch color to indigo if it's between 15 and 50 or flash red when your battery is below 15. Another way to know how much battery you have left is to connect your camera to the phone but it is much more useful to know this at just by taking a quick glance at your LED ring. I already said a few times that the Xiaomi Yi camera is completely useless without the app because you cannot change a single settings without connecting your camera to your phone first. So basically all the options and all the settings can be changed only via the app. To connect your camera to the app you need to turn your camera on and press the Wi-Fi button once the camera is booted. Then you need to download the Xiaomi Yi uh, app if you already haven't I will put a link to it and of course you will need to update it to the latest version and I have some tutorials on how to do it and uh, to connect your phone to your app you need to click uh, this uh, middle button here and uh, it might take a few times uh, because the camera won't always connect uh, immediately. So once you're in the app you will see that the interface of the app is pretty simple and that the camera here live streams everything on onto your mobile phone so basically on, on the screen of your phone you will see what the camera sees so phone serves you as a screen because the camera does not have one. Yi app is definitely one of the most user friendly and easiest to use app that I have ever used on the action camera. It consists out of four parts video snapshot photo and settings. Inside each of these mode you can either record video take snapshots or photos. Inside the video mode you have pretty basic interface. You have here the screen and also three type of buttons. When click this record button of course camera will start recording and you will see everything that camera sees once again. To stop uh, shooting the video you need to press this button one more time and it will stop 
recording so basically it serves as a shutter button and you do not need to touch your camera in order to record the video this option here will preview all the videos you have taken with your Yi camera and it will stream them in a bit lower resolution than usual so for the best experience and quality always download the video uh, either to your phone or to your PC snapshot mode is one of the worst modes <laughs> I ever seen in an action camera basically this option will create a short animation out of your video and you can choose the format of your video as well as the effects so you can choose from tons of the effects here it's fantastic really I love these effects here but I would rather see them inside the video mode than in the snapshot you cannot apply any of this effect to your video just to the sh snapshot so basically you will get a low resolution animation as you see uh, also you can share your animation on different social networks but the app version I'm using now 1.3 is bugged and you cannot see all the social networks you see I'm trying to scroll here but it's not working at all I do not know if it's my phone or anything but for me it's not working in photo mode again you can take images uh, with your Yi camera directly without touching your camera basically you do everything remotely you can choose uh, image uh, mode or set you can click the shutter here to take the photo one of the great thing about the image uh, option here is that there are four modes to choose from normal mode means that your camera will take single image once you press the remote button in the time-lapse mode your camera will take continuous photos each five seconds so if you do not know what is a time-lapse mode do not worry I'll show it uh, just in a moment when I show you some video samples I noticed that lots of people confuse time-lapse and self-timer mode so I'll just clarify the difference between the two. Time-lapse mode shoot unlimited amount of photographs at a particular interval you have set, whereas the self-timer shoots just a single individual image. Self-timer gives you a delay when you press a shutter button. This is useful option for taking group photographs where you as a shooter can set up Xiaomi Yi on a stand and it will automatically trigger the remote for you. Burst mode is definitely one of my favorite mode in this camera. By setting burst mode on, your camera will take multiple photos in just a second. For instance, if you set a burst mode to 7p per second, in just a single second your camera will take 7 photographs. It allows you to take photographs of fast moving objects, sport events or any other extreme situation and you have 4 different burst modes to choose from. Definitely one of my favorite, if, if not the favorite option in Xiaomi Yi camera. I will now quite briefly explain each of these options inside the settings. Quality here of course determines the quality of your video. You can choose from high, normal or low. Timestamp will be put a date on your video or photo and I recommend that you turn it off unless you really need to see a date on your video. In the resolution mode you can choose the resolution of your video and there are plenty of options here there are tons of resolutions to choose from and also the resolution will depend on a video format or standard that you choose if you're in Europe you will choose PAL whereas if you're in the US or Canada you can choose uh, NTSC and the camera will show you only resolutions here for NTSC or only for PAL depending on which mode you choose. Now let me just uh, go quickly through these resolutions. You can read about all of the resolutions in uh, more detail in my blog. I have not yet dived deeper into metering mode. It is one of the most confusing options for me. Uh, from my tests basically it will not influence much on the quality of your video uh, it might make your video a bit brighter or darker uh, I've been using the default mode here because I noticed that video is not as good when using anything else below the video settings you have here photo or image settings you can choose also quite similar to video you can choose different resolutions you can choose the default photo mode uh, which means uh, you can choose either burst self timer or time lapse uh, and the next time you boot your camera and choose the image mode you will get that mode that you have chosen when preview is activated you can preview the video or photo inside your app i do not know why this option even exists 
One more quite confusing option is install auto low light. Apparently this option should allow you to take better video quality when shooting in the areas where there is not enough light. So I had no idea if this works or not for me, it really did not work at all. I emailed Xiaomi a few times and here is what they said to me about this option. With loop recording you can set your camera to record continuous videos. Be careful because this means once your memory card is full all the videos will overlap each other, meaning video that you have been recording previously will be overwritten by the next one. I really never use this option, always turn it off unless you want to use Xiaomi Yi as a dash camera. Lens ratification is probably the most useful options, uh, option I have ever seen in an action camera. Every action camera has a wide angle lens. This sort of lens allows you to capture wide field of view to, for up to 170 degrees, which is equal to what human eyes can see. That is incredible. However, always uh, these sort of lenses give barrel roll distortion. With this option you can turn off the wider field of view and eliminate the barrel roll distortion. With this camera you can also do the AV output which is uh, something that uh, remote control toys guys like so just to let them know that AV output is possible with this camera. With the buzzer volume you can control the volume of your camera beeping. In LED mode you can either enable or disable or control the strength of the LED lights. So this camera I recommend you to have this LED lights on because if you turn it off you might have an issue figuring out whether your camera is connected to the Wi-Fi or just leave it on. Trust me you will get confused so much if the lights are off because there is no LCD display. In one of the latest firmware updates Xiaomi added the video rotate option which will allow your camera to shoot video even when it's reversed so your video will show up quite normally. This is very useful for dash camera users who want to mount a camera this way with their suction cap on their, on their car. Another interesting option is called find camera. Uh, when your camera is connected to the app and the Wi-Fi, you can turn find camera option and it will beep. Of course, if the Wi-Fi cannot connect to your camera, your camera is lost. Interesting option, but in only in theory. In reality, you probably will not lose your camera somewhere that close. It's now time for the most interesting part of this video. Uh, here I will show you now a few minutes of video footage that I have taken with my Xiaomi Yi action camera uh, under different weather conditions, different situations, different scenes and so on. So I will not comment, uh, I will let you enjoy and judge the video quality yourself, but please note that video quality on YouTube will probably be a slightly different uh, than in the reality, therefore I recommend you to visit uh, my blog and up there you can uh, find sample video footage that you can download and watch on your own PC and see how these videos really look. It, they will look a lot better when uh, you download them and watch them on your PC.
As I already mentioned a few times, this camera can take fantastic photographs in 16 megapixels. It's true, 16 megapixels, absolutely amazing, and photography is probably the strongest advantage of this camera. Take a look at these sample photos I have taken, and uh, if you follow the link to my blog, you can download photos I have taken. It's now time to summarize my impression of the Xiaomi Yi camera based on my 30 days of using it. So here are some things I really hate about this camera. I expected definitely a bit sharper video with a higher bitrate, meaning that sometimes videos will definitely not look as sharp as it should be. One of the things that I r really really hate about this camera is it's uh, slow booting. Sometimes it will take few seconds for camera to turn on and if you use it as an action camera that can mean eternity. You can miss an important jump, important shot, an important goal, whatever. Seconds matter when it comes to action cameras so Xiaomi definitely needs to improve booting and turning their camera on. I also noticed that in recent uh, firmware updates uh, camera will have problems when connecting it via the USB to your PC. Sometimes it took me 10 tries to transfer video to my PC, which was very annoying. Also, the manual should have been a bit more descriptive and, of course, in English. Another thing that I did not like is the lack of LCD and the fact that Xiaomi sacrificed the functionality of this camera for the sake of the design and simplicity. I really find LCD screens handy and sometimes I, I even do not know what I'm recording with this camera when I'm not using it on a helmet or on a bike. The fact that action camera does not come with a lot of accessories is annoying. You basically get only USB cable and if you're using the standard version you get a selfie stick. Why the heck do I need a selfie stick? It's an action camera. Finally, uh, I also noticed that the Wi-Fi uh, and the app will sometimes not synchronize well and that it will take few tries and few seconds for camera to connect to via the Wi-Fi, which again, is it's just a personal preference, but I do not like when things are not working well. There is a huge chance that things like this will improve in future, but at the moment of recording this review, I think Xiaomi need to tweak few things in their firmware and improve uh, those sort of things. Also, I noticed that uh, sometimes the battery will drain even the when the camera is turned off. Those were the facts and now here are some personal opinions about the camera. I do not like the fact that this is more a social media than an action camera. I hate uh, its dependence on the application. Now, it's not all negative. I wanted to bring a few cons uh, before I uh, actually summarize everything about this camera and so let's now move on to positive things about Xiaomi Yi. It's not all about negative guys. I really love the design of camera. It's simple. I love the colors although I would appreciate if they included the black color as well. For its price camera offers exceptional video and uh, photo quality though video should be sharper as I already mentioned. But with photography I really cannot think of any camera in this price range that could capture 16 megapixels photographs of great colors and quality. When it comes to app, I really like the design of the app and how easy it is to use it. Definitely one of the best apps I have ever used on my phone. Also camera works out of the box and you will easily figure out how to record video, how to take photographs, how to change settings. Unlike many of the cheap action cameras that come from China, customer support for Xiaomi is exceptional. I, I emailed them a few times and always got a prompt reply uh, no matter which uh, headquarter I emailed to. Even the Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, all of those headquarters replied me in English. 
uh, clarified me things that I did not know about this camera. So thumbs up for customer support. It is absolutely fantastic. Compared to other Chinese brands which mostly ignore your email <laughs> and never get back to you. And now the big question. Is this a GoPro killer? No. It's not. It's really not a GoPro Hero 4 killer. It cannot be a GoPro Hero 4 killer. Because camera costs 4 times less than GoPro Hero. It offers good quality of video and photograph, but it is not an action camera. In my personal opinion, this is a camera that regular users use. Children, people wanting to record their sports matches and everything else. It can be used as an action camera, but not in extreme situations. I found it very slow and hard to use when, in, when using it in extreme situations, such as mountaineering, hiking, running, whatever. Even though the camera did not defeat GoPro Hero 4, it definitely killed all of GoPro alternatives uh, for under $100. Definitely this is the best choice you can get for under 100 bucks currently. But if you need an action camera, you might want to consider a few other alternatives that are out there, which come with more accessories and more action camera features. So, who should buy this camera? And please note that this is just my personal opinion. I believe that Xiaomi Yi is perfect camera for people wanting to record their travels, their kids running, uh, sport events, anything else. But to use it in extreme situations as a sport action camera, no, no, no way. So my final thought on this camera, Xiaomi Yi definitely created great camera that can capture great photos and videos, but it can improve a lot and it really is a more social media than an action camera. On the other hand, Xiaomi created something that will change market and make other companies work harder. So big bravo for Xiaomi for that. So that's it. Sorry for a bit longer video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you need any help with this camera or have some questions, anything, or you just want to say your experience on using your Xiaomi Yi camera, please feel free to drop me a comment below. I will do my best to reply to each and every one of you and help you out. Thank you very much for watching this video, it means a lot. Please subscribe for my YouTube channel for more videos and action camera reviews. And as always, see you in the next video. Bye bye.